Hi, welcome back to It's a Little Chilly. We just had a slight, you know, bandit problem, which we've, we've dealt with. They're dead. It's fine. It means I can actually put some clothes on a few people. Um, annoyingly, a new patch has come out, a new version. So, as soon as this one collapses, I'll probably start with that. I say annoyingly. It's just kind of like, oh yeah, start one of, a new one of these series, and like a day later, you've got a new version of RimWorld. Uh, well. I'm basically just going to tell everyone to go find food. The main thing I've realised is I need a hell of a lot more. We're getting checked because you medicine, that's fine. How badly hurt is the game? Oh, it just bruises, that's fine. Right, I've turned the in-game sound up a little bit. Hopefully it won't too far. The Gand, what's the Gand wearing? Just trousers. We'll grab the uh, Parker. Geordi, I'd like you to grab that Parker. And actually some trousers might be useful. Did you actually turn up fully naked? Uh. Hey! So what's Joe you like? Geordie's a scientist... Oh, Valerie, sorry. Not too bad. A marine, though. No. Let's slow time down a little bit. You probably want to grab a decent weapon. Yep, good shooting, good melee. Bernie desired to learn how to build. Does mean we're going to be pressed, pressed to room a little bit, but that'll be fine, I think. So. I mean, 16 days in is a lot better. Oh yeah, graves. Graves. I'm sorry, why haven't they dealt with the dead bodies yet? Well, here at least I've got no issues where I'm going to build the graveyard. We're going to build it around the swamp. Just because we can. Low food, no trading capacity. Fine, fine. We have nine food and some berries. Valerie is just watching the sunrise. Guess what? Go hunting. I may want to cancel the hunt on a couple of those. Ah, oh, the eclipse has begun. This is where I bought the wind turbine, which is apparently not getting you much in the way of air. Wind, whatever. Hmm. I love how the can just like, finish it off. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That was a little creepy. <laughs> Alright, Rana's going out to go collect food. At uh, this rate I'm going to depopulate pretty much the whole area. I should generally tell it to cut plants in this entire section. Oh, fire's now unhappy. What's up, fire? Oh, you got venison everywhere. You're making venison berry food. Because that's what people do. Valerie keeps flashing you out the way, apparently. Turn the bell kite. Oh, 
quite a meaty sound when they do that, isn't it? Jumpman, you are allowed to actually shoot the mud elk that's chasing you. Your, your dedication to collecting food is good, but... Uh, Valerie, can we can we just come out and actually save Rana here? No comment. Lucky Ryan is just covered in bruises. That lung infection. That might be a problem. Oh, it's developed in immunity, that's fine. Ah, uh, didn't even read that properly. Chop, chop, chop. Okay. Test to help if you tell the freezer to become a freezer. Excellent, we have frozen our food successfully. Gand, Gand. Need materials, what do we need? Steel. I think we've got too much out there and it needs steel. Oh, you're digging crates, that's fine. Hey! What's the most important thing now? Ideas, brewing. Electric smelting of pneumatic picks, probably. Valerie, well, have you really got nothing better to do? I want you to mine. I want you to cut plants, repair, construct, cook. Not sure what flicking is. Flick switch is fine. There you go, now you've got plenty more important to do. Digging a bunch of open graves is one of them. Okay, you've got no skill in construction, but you quite like it. Hey, we'll actually have proper power soon. That's Eclipse has lasted a good long while and we've burned up our entire power supply. Oh, and nightfalls come afterwards. I have to start prioritising stuff. Cargo pods. Full of corn. Excellent. Food. No starving to death here. Oh, we've got 26 meals. 135 elk. It's pretty much, if someone would actually get off the house and finish my little um, like construction thing. It's July and it's starting to get snow. Let's see, we've got chocolate. You're going straight for the corn. 
it's just too much for you to carry one go, apparently. Right, what else can I mine? That'll get me some more. That entire block down there. I mean, five corners is not bad. It's not amazing, but yeah, I'm seeing I'm only like 10 days in, 19 days in. And yeah. some more bandits to arrive. If I get some more bandits, I'd be able to, um, you know, get some more parkers and stuff like that. I like how he's forced to wear pants. I'm sorry, that's not an option around here. Hey, things are actually trying to kick into gear now. Look at this, we have a hydroponics bay that's going to be working and probably going to drain all our power. As soon as that's finished, then we should be see people doing weird stuff like actually building the geothermal power generator. I know it's a bit of a steel drain, but... More cocoa pods. Full of completely useless beaver skin. Fine, we'll still collect it all then. I'm sure when we actually get the um, console up and running it'll be useful. Poor Geordie's <coughs> trapped in that room. Mm, sorry. <coughs> sorry about that. Poor Geordie trapped in this room every day. Look at this. We have a hydroponics bay, it's growing potatoes. Okay, I need to heat up my uh, hydroponics today. It's called a cooler. You have to pick. I want the one that's um. Uh, Okay, I can build a stone table, I've already got that one. Let's take up electric smelting. Then I can think about building with my stone cutting table. I like how I can't quickly dismiss that with right click. And there goes the power. I've asked them to put these trees. Solves the heating problem. Trade beacons up. Gonna have to go hunting again. How many elk have we got left? I 
I'm pretty worried actually about the um Gans bruised again. He's gonna go hide in the bed. I think it's we're eating five food a day now, aren't we? Every day everyone wants a meal. Days go so quickly. There's no power in the hydroponics bay. I won't add that village yet, I've got other stuff I need people to do. Right, power's back on. Has the food gone bad or something? Oh yeah, by the way, vomit is new. Yes, apparently some of the food has gone bad. Oh, Jordy. Excellent. Welcome to Dwarf Fortress. Ah, oh, group from Gunsmith Rock. Basically, we hit night and then everything goes horribly wrong. So just actually, yeah, we've got this geothermal generator off and running, it wouldn't be so much of a problem. Geothermal bows. Rhino hide, excellent, that's what I need. Because of course I need more hide. Actually I probably do need more hide. It's just not my current issue. It's going to be an issue in a few months when the temperature starts getting really low. Hey, right, Geordie. Banger pack. Yeah, we ain't going to be talking with them. This means we should have enough steel now to actually get the geothermal up. And then I'm going to have to look for that one there, I think, and run the power cable up to there. If I still need power after the geothermal's working. The Red Muffalo Company. But when light hits. The pirate merchants, so. I can sell this medicine. Oh, actually, no, they can sell this pistol, beer, RTW shells, and silver. They want medicine. Oh no, they can sell us medicine. Yep. We'll buy. Excellent, this might be the last night we're out of power. Electric smelting's finished. Ah, let's start brewing. We have to ha clear, cheer these people up somehow.
excellent. Changing three and a half thousand watts. Exotic goods trader. Right, Jordy. Call the exotic goods trader. What have we got to sell then? Apparently we have nothing they want apart from trousers. Seriously, that's all you want. You'll get give us two dollars ninety seven for a pair of old trousers. Okay. Can't get the stone cutter's bench working, I think. But it's the first night we're not having any real issues. We're storing huge amounts of power. Probably over the top now of power a little bit. Not oh, the trees have all started to cark it. Oh, look, the extra bedrooms are starting to finish. My god, people are actually doing work. Um, all males, which I can give most of my colony, are now unhappy. Oh, it could be worse. There could be a bunch of freighters hitting. Oh, they're going straight after the um, this year's arrival of muffalos. I'll wait for them to actually attack. They're, they're pretty primitive by the looks of it. Oh, here they come. Get into this area here and use all oh, this as cover. Move up, move up, move up. We actually have bows and arrows which apparently outrange most of our stuff. Oh! Troco's dead. Jordy, I think we have to let him go. Strip him. And then once you've deposited in the medical bed, strip Renfield. I'm pretty sure their wooden clubs and stuff will not be much use to us. That simple meal is another day's food. And the parker is extremely useful. So you've got a parker. Rhonda needs a parker. That fire should hopefully become doctor soon. Bruised, cut, cracked, rib. Great bow cut. I also need you to do something about the temperature in there because it's getting bloody freezing. And a local buffalo has gone insane. Excellent. Oh, Rana! Oh. 
Oh, God. Why do I suddenly remember all this? Come on, Geordie. Rescue van there. Eh? Well, more meat for the table. So, Valerie kind of needs to stop bleeding to death. And the gun's gone berserk. It's just going to lead to him stabbing round to death in the bed. I was already ru ruined, gun. Ah, oh. No. Running, quick. Gun's killing everyone. <laughs> Why are these doors so slow to open? Oh god, the gun's the best for the hate guy as well. Oh, shattered his jaw, his ear's been cut off. Fire's sliced up, Varna's had his arm chopped off. Gun's just wandering around bleeding. Was uh, wandering, waiting for targets. Oh no, targets! Everyone's bleeding to death. <laughs> Am I destined to not go through more than like three videos on this? On the plus side, at least I can do an upgrade to the next version. This one won't have Gand wandering, bleeding in the hallways. And then dying in of an establishing infection to his neck. Oh, a group of travellers are passing by. The psychic drone sent it. I think the psychic drone has done it at work. Yep, yeah, you can stop bleeding. Wonder you could, like, get better. Uh, Gan's dead. I don't think Gan's the first one to die. Everyone's freezing to death as well because it's now minus four indoors because I didn't sort the internal heating out. To be fair, I wasn't going to sort the internal heating out until we got um, you know, actual power supplies. Oh look, Fire, Valerie are dead. And there's Johnny and Rana. Rana's like one of the first victims. And is the last one alive. Bleeding out from an arm and a cut to the foot. Well, it was a little chilly. Then it turned into fortitude. Ah, I don't know where I'm going to go for the next one. Be a new world. I'm just basically hanging around now. There we go. Alright, so that's that one. I'll see you. What was this? One, one, eleven, eighty-seven, seven. See you in the next one. Can't go as bad as this.